in this session uh, let's learn about default feature okay as part of the oracle data definition language we have the ability to assign default values to columns in the table okay what is the advantage of this default feature suppose there are certain columns where most of the time their values are defaulted to certain value in that case we need to enter the same value again and again whenever we are inserting the data to avoid this we can just give a default value for that column and avoid inserting that data every time we insert a row into that table okay here in my customer table i have a column called expiry date where the default value will be december 31st 2099 okay if i don't mention this default keyword every time i insert data into this customer table i insert 31st december 2099 to avoid that i can use the default functionality readily available okay so the syntax is once you have mentioned your column name and the data type so default keyword and the value to be defaulted okay so once you have created the table whenever you are inserting data into the table you can ignore the column which has a default value here expiry date has a default value see you see i'm not inserting any data into expiry date if you want to follow the best coding standards and mention all the columns in your table you can still do that and you can say default so the default value will be inserted into this expiry date column okay so now let's go and check it out okay so let's create a table customer one okay and then uh, i'll make it very simple i'll create customer id with number and i'll make it customer name with where two of 20 and I'll have a expiry date okay and it is date this column will most of the time will have a default value of 31st December 2099 so I'll say default okay and the value if it is a number I'll just say 20 if it is a character in single quotations I'll mention the value since it is a date I'll produce a date okay so it is 31st December 2099 comma dd mon slash yy okay and close it so now let me run this so customer one is created so let me select the data from the customer one so no data so let me insert some data okay so insert into customer one okay so customer id okay customer name and what are the values one comma john okay you see i totally ignored this expiry date since i want a default value of 31st december 2099 so let me run that inserted and then do a commit okay and run it and then let me see what is there on the table you see one john and the default value of 31st december 99 cool right okay suppose for coding standards you want to still mention the column name so you can do that okay comma expiry date and you can say default value okay here default so let me change this to 2 and let me change this to Raj okay and now let me run this so I just ran it and then execute the commit now let's check the data so I see the data and you see 2 Raj and the default value okay what if you want to enter a different value yes you can even do that so just enter that value so here I want 
12th December 2045 okay and T D M O N Y okay so let me change this to 3 and change this to Peter and execute this ran it and let me commit that and let me select the data from the customer you see 3 Peter and 12 December 45 okay like this uh, you can make use of the default feature and avoid inserting certain values every time you make an insert into the table okay